Hey people, Tuesday now. Spend a few minutes with you. 19th of March, right? Yes, it is. Interesting um, um, comments <clears throat> regarding the story that I shared. My friend is fine. Problem wasn't the mushrooms. The problem was him taking care of himself. Okay, it's not a drug problem. It's a personal problem. And I'll, I'll most, you know, I think I can speak in general. I think in general people run away from themselves instead of really trying to get in touch. So. I also um, had an exchange where, well, yeah, Nick says, thanks for helping your friend. It will ultimately be a learning experience when he comes to terms with what happened. My response was, I can only hope so. But in general, we tend to deal with the same problems our entire lives. Think about it, folks. It's wonderful when we can make progress, but, but what sticks in our craw tends to stick in our craw always. It's partly why I'm single. <clears throat> I can handle, I can handle my head. Okay. Not interested in compromise. Some people see, I just don't even need to try to talk about it. <clears throat> Anyway, my friend is fine. It's up to him if he does any more mushrooms. It's up to him. That's why we talk about microdosing. You know, that's why you hear psychology talking about people using microdosing for mood um, enhancement and um, uh, mood stabilization because it can work. But we're all different. You have to find out for yourself. I do not put psychedelics in the same realm as alcohol. Alcohol is so, so fucking destructive. Please, okay? So, <clears throat> a few minutes on music. So, this is the first. I have to spend, send out another CD where a person in Canada received theirs and they were all broken. Man, that sucks. It's ridiculous. So, I've sent... I'm about to send them a heavily reinforced package. It'll probably cost extra, but I... And it's really strange. I'm saying this on camera. I had a feeling that this sale was going to be problematic. How did I know that? And sure enough, so I'm sending this out, and that's, I don't want to hear about this again. Some of that people stuff. Okay, <clears throat> music. Still going through my um, digs from um, the record show. I don't just buy things and then put them away. I do explore, and I'm real happy <clears throat> with my purchases, real happy. And um, that one I was telling you about, well, I'll, I'll go, I'll revisit two of them. This is a score. This is really good. Wyoming. I like this. I listened to the whole thing last night. <clears throat> this is just, just very cool. It's not bluesy. It's rock. This is good. The other thing that's really good is, oh, well, that, this is cool. I pulled this, actually. <clears throat> I have some more things that I pulled yesterday. I've had a good day of listening. Peanut Butter Conspiracy, the great conspiracy, one of those West Coast bands that coulda, shoulda, woulda. Really good stuff. They get compared to Jefferson Airplane, but to me they sound like the Mamas and Papas with a, with a more hard rock um, background, uh, backdrop. It's a very good album. I also like the Hippy Dippy um, um, lyrics. 
very positive very positive so i'll just go through what's down here because um and when i get to that album i'll get to it here's something that was sent to me by the artist oh not the artist but the label l'amour i've talked about the swedish label l'amour before interesting label they sent this to me igor what is his name Igor Michael Strad can barely make it out, can barely read it. This is really good, and um, I liked it when it came out, but I didn't. Um, 2013, so I've had this for about 11 years. Piano based with some electronics. Igor, fast and slow. But it got to um, track number three on side A, 10 minutes. Endure. Whoa, it's it's spooky, but real dreamy, real dreamlike, um, real dreamlike and and, and beautiful. Um, it loops and changes, but it's it's a, just a it's dreamy, but just a, a little bit creepy, but beautiful. I had to play it twice. Fast and slow by Igor can find this if you see this i recommend this um real good instrumental the way i like it i have some records out to play that i haven't played yet but the ones that i have played i love faust listen to this all the way through 71 minutes of faust they put out that album, Faust Tapes, at a discount price way back in the day. And this is more from that series of recordings. I, I described this online and people agree. I love the madness and the beauty of this band. It's the best way to describe them. Madness and beauty. Faust. Fantastic. Here's something I took a chance on years ago. Roman Flugel. Excuse me, all the right noises. Electronic, looping, kind of like um, the field, kind of like gas. You know what I'm talking about? G-A-S. Um, nice, nice. That's the right word for it is nice. And then I pulled this because I really like the new one. I really like this new album, Wall of Eyes by the Smile. Hadn't played this in a while, so I put aside one of this on. Yeah, this is not Radiohead Point Two. This is The Smile, a light for attracting attention. And they have moved on from Radiohead, Johnny and and um, Tom. They don't have to repeat their their um, past. They're artists searching i love that so this is the other album from my um, dig yesterday from not this is really good not of this earth this is just what i like and this is prog it's got the prog as i got through all both sides it's like wow this is um one of those albums that you can't pin down it starts here and ends there and it has all the elements prog r b electronic um I think this is an undis undiscovered um, gem. Neil Norman, not of this earth. That's the sort of thing that I like to find. It's the sort of thing I'm after. What else? I um, actually watched some videos from the Stereolab um, box. Oscillations from the Anti-Sun. just really like this band a lot. A whole lot. So I played that. I have, <clears throat> I recently um, joined another group, a David Sylvian fan site group, fan group. Been posting in there, so I posted this. This is a, a tour program, every, everything and nothing. I didn't see the tour, but a friend of mine who did bought this for me and had David sign, sign it for me. It's two two. Two songs, the tour program, and an inter interview with David. It's just a lovely item, isn't it? It's a lovely item. 
And I listened again to the new Dave Newhouse. This is the best yet. If you see this, Dave, I got to say once again, I'm really pleased to be a part of your musical history. Your new album is the best yet in many ways. And that's good to be able to say that when you put out a new record, is it the same thing? Is it better? I think this is a step forward. Dave Newhouse, Natura Morta. And I will do a plug. He's on my latest album too, Interlude. That's what I have for you, folks. That's what I have for you. I'm watching the news. I would like to see some accountability. It's a shame that we live in such a top, topsy-turvy, upside-down world where white privilege is just completely out of control. It doesn't have nothing to do with this music I'm listening to. It has to do with history and this perception of people where people of color are scapegoated. It's been going on for generations. It's sad. You know, and we have this clown who we can't get out of the politics. There's no way that we should be facing this person trying to become president again. It's, it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. I hate the news. I hate what's happening. I hate it. So on a positive note, I hope that things are okay with my family. It's so strange that I'll get comfy and spend a little money and the next thing I know I get a message, somebody needs some. That frustrates me to be honest with you. It's almost like, can't I... Can't I enjoy my money ever? I'm pretty, um, too much information, but what's the big deal? All I'm doing is talking to you and telling you what's going on with me. There's no reason for me to be afraid of you people. And why would you want me to be afraid of you? Why would you want to hurt me? I've dealt with that already. And I, I've said it before. I don't know who these people were, were and why they want to bug me. So I'm afraid of people, not afraid of telling you what's going on with me. So, I hope that this Canadian situation is done. It's the first time that's ever happened to me where the discs were broken. Okay, that's all I have today. What's going on with you all?